Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, you have understood what is the importance of model view, view model architecture. But in this particular video, we will try to understand what exactly is the need for view model and how it would work. So for our discussion purpose, right now we will ignore the model part and mainly concentrate on the view and the view model part in the whole MVVM architecture. I am sure you are wondering how the view would be able to observe what's happening in the model and also what exactly is view model in Android. Well, you are aware that in Android view is nothing but an activity and activity has a life cycle. It goes through various callback methods. These callback methods are basically interlinked with whether activity got created, whether the activity got rotated and the activity got finished. And as a developer, if at all you have got some objects, you initialize them in the onCreate method and they basically become eligible for garbage collection when the activity gets destroyed. And between these two callback methods, there are many other methods which continuously get called and based on your requirement, you will be interacting with the objects in those lifecycle methods. There is nothing new here, you would be already familiar with this. But there is some problem associated with this mechanism that we need to understand. To understand that, let's get into a demo. So this is a sample project that I have created. You have a main activity here and in the main activity, I have a layout file which has got start and stop button. When you click on the start button, the counter starts. And if you look at the way it is implemented, you have a thread and you have a count variable and you have a Boolean variable called as is counter in progress. And in the on create method, I initialize the thread because that's what you typically do. Any object initialization will happen in the first lifecycle method of the activity. I have kept the is counter in progress equals to false and inside the thread what I have done is I make the thread sleep for one second then I increase the counter and after that I show that particular count value to the text view and I use the post method of the view to do this because you are doing it from the non UI thread this is very basic multi-threading concept in Android and then you have got buttons that is start button and stop button so let's see how this works I click on the start button and the counter starts and when I click on the stop button the counter stops. No surprises everything seems to be working fine but there is a problem. Let me run the application again click on start the counter has started and now let me rotate the screen and as you can see here instead of counting ahead it basically stopped the counter and once again if I start it once again starts from the beginning and once again if I rotate the screen once again the counter stopped. If we continue to do this many number of times, we actually may even crash the application. This is a main problem with what we have implemented. Some of you may think that there could be a quick solution for this. That is, if you go to the manifest file and add the attribute config changes for the orientation keyboard and screen size and rerun the application, the counter should work perfectly fine because what this basically does is it stops the activity getting restarted when the screen orientation changes. So let's see this whether it works. So let me start the counter and let me change the screen orientation and as you can see here the counter is continuing from the whatever the previous state that activity was there and now if I once again change the orientation it still continues to count further. So it looks like this could be a solution but this is not a solution because when you basically stop the activity from getting restarted when the screen orientation changes you are basically stopping its natural behavior and it will have a, some cascading effect on some of the other objects that you might have written in your activity which you wanted to use in a certain way in different life cycle methods of your activity. So the problem that we had discussed earlier still exists. 
and to solve that particular problem you have a view model well if you have a look at the official definition of the view model this is what the android documentation says the view model class is designed to store and manage the ui related data in a life cycle conscious way the view model class allows data to survive configuration changes such as screen rotations so in the demo you observed that because the screen got rotated the objects that had been created in the previous activity instance were no more valid and that is why the application was basically crashing well what view model does is you can create a object that basically is available throughout the scope of the activity and doesn't get affected by the life cycle of the activity it is still aware of life cycle changes that are happening in the activity and this view model class is actually part of android jetpack library so to work with view model you have to add certain dependencies this is the dependency that is android x life cycle life cycle hyphen extensions so when you add this particular dependency you basically get support for view model and live data as of now we will be talking about view model but in future we will be once again referring to live data and how to work with live data and it is not just view model that you work with there are certain other apis for example there is a life cycle observer view model providers even the app compact activity that you would have used before will now come from the android x package if you are wondering what is android x package it is nothing but packages that are part of the android jetpack libraries in the next video we will actually implement the same use case using a view model and see how this problem can be solved so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye